Hi, my name is Chris Kovach. I'm the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynabox. And today I'm going to answer a question that was just posed to me uh, on how to link pages in Communicator 5. So what you're going to see on your screen right now is a page set that I created for a young man who was working on four options on a page. So what we did here was initially we created a new page set. We changed it to be a four uh, four by four, I'm sorry, a four button two by two grid. And it took us into what looks like Microsoft Word. Now what I want to show you is how to link some of those buttons. So if we right click or hit the third button on the side of your device or tap and hold the screen on your device or if you have a keyboard plugged in hit control M I want you to bring up your quick menu guide and then I want you to hit edit page set and you'll see that it'll bring me into uh, what looks like Microsoft Word in many ways and here we'll see our home page which is going to link me to my colors page my shapes page my SpongeBob page and my yes no page. And within each of those sub pages, I have a back button that takes me to my home page again. So the customer has the way to navigate back and forth. So very quickly, uh, we've created the buttons. And whenever you're adding a link to a page, you click the button you want to uh, have the link attached to. Make sure it's highlighted in red. And you'll see over here on the specials category, you'll have one that has looks like a little chain link to it. It's very similar to the same look in an email when you're adding a hyperlink. So you'll click on that and it'll give you a little link tool pop up. And you'll see on this link tool you can have no link which means the button will not go anywhere. You can have the button go back one page. You can have it go to a page. So in this case, uh, as I showed you, I created a colors page, a shapes page, a SpongeBob page. What I wanted to do is link to one of those pages. So I hit select and then I choose the page that I want it to go to. And now I hit OK. And you'd see it's linking to my colors page. If you have other page sets that you've created previously or that you've downloaded from Page Set Central, you can browse those. And you'll see that these are all other page sets that I have on my computer. So maybe I wanted this to link to uh, emotions, but that was created as a separate document. You can link right to that document by selecting and hitting open. Or you can choose other, which I'll, I'll show that I used on my back arrow. So you can have it go to the previous page set, to your home page, uh, and do any of these other tasks that are already preloaded for you. But for this particular page, I want it to link to my colors page because that's what's appropriate. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit close. And now this page will link to my colors. So you'll see when I go into run view, it will tell me I have unsafe changes since I did go in and I did modify a few things. Uh, it's prompting me to let me know that I haven't saved those yet. When I click on colors, colors, it takes me into my colors options and I can choose between my three colors, red, green, yellow, or I can go back to my main page if I selected colors uh, inadvertently. Back. Same linking works for yes, yes no. Back or shapes, shapes, back. or SpongeBob. SpongeBob, back. Okay. So again, I'm going to bring up my quick menu guide, I'm going to edit page set, and now I'm going to show you, again, it's the same idea, but how to link a back button. So you'll see in the colors page, shapes page, SpongeBob, or yes, no, they all have a back button. So I'm going to select that back button, and I'm again going to go over, and I'm going to select my special tool, my linking tool, and I have it going back to my home page. Uh, if I wanted to program this to be maybe an exit button to go back to the home page for my actual device, not necessarily this home page, but actually back to the Communicator 5 home page, um, I could go in and program maybe this blank button down here to be a home button. Um, so I'm going to select my link tool. I'm going to tell it I want to go to the home page that I created and that's how I link it back there. If I wanted to make this button here link to my Communicator 5 homepage, 
I would select Other and select Home from the drop-down, and I would hit Save. Now, I'll show you that just because, um, make sure I unhide the button, just so you can see it. But that was in Yes, No. Yes or No. And right now, this blank button, I didn't add any words or any pictures to it, but I just changed the linking. And it's going to ask me, you know, I didn't make saves to this page yet, or I didn't save the changes. So I'll say Yes, and you'll see it takes me right back to my Communicator 5 home page, where I can navigate to anything else I want. So I hope that helps answer some questions about how to link a page. Uh, if you need any other assistance, please feel free to contact us, 1-800-344-1778. Thanks. Have a great day.